I'm getting ready to go into Barnes & Noble because we are gonna have the ultimate book day today. Like, I am just in the mood to look at books, buy books, and maybe part of that is because I'm planning a trip, and I feel like anytime I'm planning a trip, I'm just ready to get new books. Not like I don't have some of my own, but I do actually have a reason why I'm going in here. I want to buy Brady a Kindle. He has been talking about how he wants to, like, read more books, but like not on audiobook because he listens to tons of audiobooks either on like Audible or Blinks. If you guys have listened to Blinks, Blinks is kind of like it'll take all of the like super important things from a book and like put it into one little like short kind of like a podcast type vibe. So he listens to Blinks a lot but he wants to get into like books that are like more physical form or at least closer to it so I think I'm gonna buy him a Kindle. He's talked about buying a Kindle and you guys know I am team like just real book like physical copy book but I am also always encouraging of anyone who wants to like read in whatever format works for them and I feel like he'll really like having a Kindle so we're gonna go in and look at maybe like the paperweight or something I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about that I really don't know anything about like Kindles because I've never thought about getting one but we're gonna go in and get him one and hopefully he can take that on vacation. He literally was listening to this book that was like 30 hours long because he listens to a lot of like self-development and growth and like business things because like he has his own business and so I feel like he will really like a Kindle. So let's go in and pick up one for him. Kindle and they're like no you have to buy that on Amazon and I had no idea I didn't realize that like Amazon only sells Kindles maybe other places do but I didn't know it was like an Amazon like product I don't know why I didn't know that I think I thought that Kindle was like a product that other businesses had and then you could like buy subscriptions to like Amazon's books or something I don't know you can tell I know nothing about Kindles but I went in and they're like yeah we only have like the Nook I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get that. So I ended up ordering him a Kindle. It's gonna be here tomorrow. So I'm hoping that it comes before we go on vacation because we're actually going to Mexico, which I'm gonna vlog on there. And I'm gonna see if he'll pick out my TBR before we go, we'll see. He's never like done like a video like that before. Um, so we'll see if he like wants to. But I got some book mail and I also ended up picking up a book while I was there. I'm gonna show you what I got. I got 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, and this is the author of The Hating Game, and I guess I can take out the receipt. It looks like a very easy, fun read. On the back it says, Darcy Barnett has t undertaken a global survey of men. She's traveled the world and can categorically say that no one measures up to Tom Velasca, whose only flaw is that Jamie, Darcy's twin brother, saw him first and claimed him forever as his best friend. Despite, despite Darcy's best efforts, Tom's off limits and loyal to her brother 99%. That's the problem with finding her dream man at age eight and peaking in her photography career at 20. Ever since, she's had to learn to settle for good enough. When Darcy and Jamie inherit a dilapidated, dilapidated cottage from their grandmother, they're left with strict instructions to bring it back to its former glory and sell the property. Darcy plans to be in an aisle seat halfway across the ocean as soon as the renovations start, but before she can cut and run, she finds a familiar face on her porch, a house flipper extraordinaire, Tom, who has arrived bearing power tools and is single for the first time in almost a decade. Suddenly, Darcy is considering 
sticking around to make sure her twin doesn't ruin the cottage's inherent magic with its penchant, penchant for penchant for gray and chrome. She's definitely not staying because of her new business partner's tight t-shirts or that perfect face that's inspiring her to pick up her camera again. Soon sparks fly and it's not the faulty wiring. It turns out only 1% of Tom's heart might not be enough for Darcy anymore. This time around, she's switching things up. She's going to make Tom Velasca 99% hers. And the words in this are so big and I don't know, I just feel like this is gonna be a book that I'm gonna absolutely fly through. It looks really good um, and it's about 337 pages. Pages. I also got some book mail which I'm going to have an Amazon haul coming soon because I have some books I've obviously picked up in vlogs like this one but I also have some books that are coming in because I'm wanting to read some books that I read in high school and like read them again to see if they have like the same vibe and like I would rate them as high as I did then and I also have some new books coming in that I feel like will be really good for summer I genuinely don't think I'll ever put myself in a book buying van like I I feel like if people can get enjoyment out of like going to restaurants and like eating food or I don't know just like things like that I feel like if I want to buy books and read them then that's like a great thing and if I want to buy books and like lend them out to friends like that's also a great thing um, I did end up picking up two books um, that I already own in the Amazon haul because I loaned them out to friends like almost a year ago and I don't know who has them so I just wanted to like add them back to my collection in case I want to read them again or someone else wants to borrow them um, but yeah I just like truly love like that my friends can grab books that I also love so the book that came in is Reckless and this is by Elsie Silver. I literally have not even read Flawless but so many people have absolutely raved about this series and so I had to buy the whole series. I also am getting into this like really big habit where I don't do it all the time but like if there's a series that I feel like I'm going to really like and usually I can kind of tell like by the way that the writing is like I don't know I always look into the pages and I'm very big on like how the words look how long the pages are like how the spacing is with the words also I'm very big on like lots of dialogue if there's lots of dialogue nine times out of ten I'll probably enjoy the book um but also I feel like if the book isn't like I know five star four star I feel like three star books also are really good just like an average easy read fun book is something that I enjoy as well but what I've been doing lately is buying the series because you guys saw or maybe you haven't seen but the Magnolia Parks books actually have new covers now so I've been buying a lot of books with like like if I buy one book out of the series I'll buy like the rest of them because I do not want to like continue the series and then all of a sudden they like change covers or something like and I have half of like the covers that are old and half new covers so I've been doing that especially if I like the series and I feel like I really like this one I am starting this soon actually um one of my friends Taylor you guys have met her she picked up Flawless and I think we're gonna start this on maybe tomorrow um so yeah I'm really excited to read this book and I wanted to pick it up um, because these are just cute covers and I wanted them all to match but I want to show you guys my bookshelf because I want to do a little bit of rearranging I want to move some things because it's getting very tight on the shelf so let me show you guys what I'm working with this is what the bookshelf looks like right now and we keep our keys in here but I'm not actually obsessed with this bowl being right here I kind of am thinking of moving it to another area of our house but I just don't know where I want it to be like kind of front and center because I do like putting our keys in here but it just looks kind of funny to me like in the middle of the shelf it's like books 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 like random key thing books books also down here is where I keep my TBR or like what I've been working on with my TBR but the problem is I don't like how they look so like bunched up there so what I'm thinking about doing is moving these to maybe putting them in here but taking this out and putting it somewhere else in the house I haven't decided where I want to put it yet um, but that's kind of the idea I've decided that I want to put a picture up here but I don't even know if this is like load bearing, but whenever I put pictures up, I just come kind of like, you know what, we're just gonna try it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Because I cannot be bothered to actually like line stuff up, you know? So I just kind of like wing it every time. And it's probably scaring you if you're someone who's like very particular about this kind of stuff, but I literally am not. Um, so we're just gonna take a little guesstimation here. Let's do. this and this is a um 
hanger that like hangs 100 pounds. I think that'll be like good for the picture I'm putting in. The reason I decided to put a picture over here is because I moved this little plant and then I moved these um, like older books. I got these whenever I went to Magnolia Lane. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog. They're like very, very old. Um, and I just like the old like, aesthetic along with my record player. And then I also have these coasters over here. I moved these because I'm going to move um, so look, my little record player, it's so cute. Um, maybe I should leave it open, that's kind of cute. Um, I always worry it's gonna get dusty though. But I moved um, these because I want to put the um, like little bookends or whatever over by our television. Let's see if this works, guys. And this picture is so cute. My mom gave this to me. I don't even know where she got it, but. Oh my god, it's so heavy though. I hope it's not over a hundred pounds. I can't imagine. Let's see. Ooh, cute! Oh my gosh, cute. Maybe we'll leave the record player open. I feel like this is a vibe. This is what the picture looks like. I'm trying to turn it so you guys don't see the glare because the lake like shines um, into this view, but I love this picture. I feel like it looks so good for the space and it's just like a very i don't know unique type of picture because there are flowers and stuff everywhere but it's like very um abstract kind of i don't know i really love it so anyway i'm putting that there because over here i want to move this and put it near the tv so let's try to do that we have literally been saying we're gonna mount our tv since we first moved in here and like have not gotten around to it maybe we'll get around to it by the time we move out of here one day but um this is the bookends on this side i don't know how i feel about bookends being on both sides just because it does take up a lot of space up here but i need more space i do think that it could look really nice with another bookshelf not necessarily in here but maybe in another room in the house um so that's something i've definitely thought about but i don't know maybe i should put these in the back so it's not like front and center let's see let's move these because i have these books back here um which are more like self-help type books which i really like these but um i don't know i just don't feel like most of my friends are going to want to borrow those so i try to keep those kind of in the back i usually like to keep the ones i feel like my friends will want to borrow in the front let's see squeeze so we have our security system and that I feel like needs to come in the front because it has a timer. I don't know how it's gonna like get in the front. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I kind of like that in the back. And then maybe putting the little security thing in the front. I like the timer, and also I like it to be in the front so I can set the alarm at night. I don't know. Does that look weird? I feel like this is like so front and center. The security system it's like do we really need that to be like literally front of mine like right at the very front oh and these are all books that i've read so i like to keep the books that i've read off of the bookshelf which i do have a ton of books i've read on the bookshelf i can't help that but anytime i'm taking books off or need to take books off for a reason i do take off books that i have read because it's easier for me to figure out like what i'm reading next if i'm just looking at one bookshelf versus like if I'm looking on the TV stand, if I'm looking on this like, you know, record player stand or wherever. So I try to keep the books I haven't read on the bookshelf. And I do have some books I haven't read that are on the bookshelf, but if I'm moving some off, I like to keep them like as the books I've already read. So I think that looks well, fine for now, right? It looks decent. I don't know, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm obsessed with this, but this is just gonna have to do for now because, um, it's like 6 30 and i want to read a little bit outside and um i still need to like finish organizing the bookshelf there's one more thing that i want to do after walking away i looked and it was a little too cluttered so i moved this plant back over here and then i put the books behind the tv and then um i have a little security system just like right there i think that'll be fine for now and the other side is like fairly empty i just have to figure out where i'm going to put the rest of the stuff that i have but i have all these books over here again i've finished these and then i have this like historic looking like lamp thing and then um like a smaller lamp down here i don't know i just think like vintage looking lamps are cool i think i figured out how i want this so you can see over here on this side 
that there's this like little bowl right here and then I have all of my books that are on my TBR on this side. And I feel like I like it like this because it just leaves a little bit of dimension because I feel like all of the books going straight across, across are really pretty but I just need something to kind of break it up. And eventually I probably will have them all go straight across but I just haven't, like I think I'm gonna buy a like TBR, not a TBR cart because I don't know, that's just not like the vibe in my house, but I do wanna buy something specific to put my TBR on because when I go to reach for a book, like these are the books that I want to like read next, but I I feel like when they're on the bottom, like I just never reach down to the bottom. And so now that they're at the top, I feel like it's a little bit better. I will say that things are getting a little tight on this bookshelf. Um, trying to add in new books is hard and trying to figure out where to put old books that I finished is also hard. So I feel like I'm gonna have to figure out something to, I don't know, just like have a new space for books. And I don't know if I'm gonna separate the books in the new space where it's like books I've read on one shelf and the books I haven't read on another. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Like what do you think I should do? Also let me know if you would wanna see a video that's specifically dedicated to like how I organize my books and like which books I finished, which books I haven't finished um, because I feel like that would be fun. Again, it's getting a little difficult to try to get these books in here because it's so tight. But a lot of these books are similar colors so that makes it look, that makes it easier to do. Um, so like these I'm gonna put closer to the bottom because I have kind of like beige books down there and these are kind of orange But they will definitely fit down there at the bottom. So we're gonna put those Down there with those colored books and then I'm gonna put this yellow one up here with the um, yellow books, so Yeah, I think that looks a lot better and it, I feel like it's more like it's something that I'll utilize more if I have like my TBR where I can kind of see it. I just like that a lot better. I also think that I'm going to move a few things that are down on the bottom. So this, I think I want to move it over to this side just because this is the side that kind of has like a little gap and I feel like it'll just look nicer kind of covering up that gap because over here it's like more straight. I don't know. And then this one's on this side, that one's over there. I don't know. Looks cute, but let me know what you think. Maybe I need to change around. Let me know what you guys think of this bowl, like if it should go, or maybe I should put like fruit or something in it. That could look kind of cute, like some apples maybe to like match the red. Let me know your thoughts. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. And we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated with you Outside. It's so close to July and I just need a little help to figure out what I should read. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas of what I'm thinking and then I'm going to like let you guys comment or hope you will comment and let me know what books you think I should read. It could be a book that you haven't read but you think would be good or you've heard it's good or maybe it's a book you have read and you think it's good. Let me know because I've been having a hard time figuring out what I want to read. Um, some ideas that I have are Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, When in Rome, which these two were on my TBR for last month and I never got to them, by Sarah Adams, The Summer I Turned Pretty because the uh, series comes out next month by uh, Jenny Han, I think? Yeah, Jenny Han. Uh, same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan. I actually read this and it's by the, this is the same author who wrote Nora Goes Off Script, which is just like a fun little summer read. 
Um, I kind of want to get back into my thriller era. So Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney is a book that I've literally been reading, meaning to read for so long. Um, the Housemaid by Frida McFadden is another thriller. The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine. I've heard this book is so good and I've never read it. It's another thriller. And then Grip by Kennedy Ryan, which is the second book in the Grip series. I have um, read Flow, which is the first book. And then um, this is a book I like, I think I saw on like TikTok or something. It's called All the Little Things by Rachel Lee or Lay. Kind of looks like a diary and I feel like this would be fun to read for summer. Just like it, the vibe gives summer. It's another book that I didn't read on my TBR for June. Um, and maybe I'll still read it. I still have like a few days left. But Sunny Disposition by Deanna Gray. This just looks like a fun summer read. This is a new book that just came out. You Bet Your Heart by Danielle Parker. The Mixtape by Brittany Cherry is a book I've heard so much about and she um, I think is a black author and I just heard so many rave reviews about this book so I'm really excited to read it. Uh, Marriage for One by Ella Mays has been on my TBR for so long and I feel like I need to read that one. And then the other ones, the other books that are like potentials that I could read are Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Um, I picked up a Colleen Hoover book today, but I haven't actually picked up a Colleen Hoover book in a while. So I'm kind of just like jumping back into her books. I feel like they're so easy to read and I just, I don't know, they're easy to read. Nate Plus One by Kevin Van Why I've been trying to add in diverse books, you guys know. So I do add in a lot of books by black authors and I've been also trying to add in books with different types of relationships. Uh, Meet Me at the Lake by Ka Carly Fortune I feel like would be a really fun summer book and I don't know if I would read this like in the fall and it's wild but like my July TBR it's like middle of summer and by the time July is over we have one more month of summer so I want to make sure I get to these summer books in the summer so I feel like this would be a good one. And then Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey, um, I feel like is definitely summer vibes. I read It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey and I thought it was like cute. Um, and then Travis by Mia Sheridan is another book that I think would be a good one. It's like a second book to Archer's Voice. I really loved Archer's Voice. I don't know if I like Travis because I don't really like this character, but I figured it would be nice to jump back into her writing. The Brightest Light of Sunshine by Lucina Coney. And Only Love Can Hurt Like This by Paige Toon. I literally just picked this up randomly at like Target or something. Or no, it was Walmart when I was in there. Um, it just looked like it would be a good book. My Dark Romeo by Parker S. Huntington and L.J. Shin. I think this book is like, um, like dark romance and I've never read like a dark romance. So I think it'd be a nice jump to get into it. And The Better, Better Half by Allie Frank and Asha Yuman. So let me know any of those books, like if they stuck out to you, what I should read. I'm really having a hard time figuring out what I want to read for July. Um, I think it's because it's middle of summer and I want to make sure I get to my summer books and they're not like rolling over into like fall or winter or whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think I should read and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love my little bookshelf tour and like my organization. I hope you also loved the little book haul and book mail that came in and our little book shopping. And then I also hope you loved my potential July TBR. Comment below what book you think I should read and if there was a book maybe that's not in this list that you like maybe saw my bookshelf or you have on your bookshelf that you think I would like, let me know. I'm always up for new recs. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.